Hello everyone and welcome back to a how to solo the new daily ops guide. This guy is going to be going over multiple things that can prepare you to tackle these events easier as well as maximizing your chances at getting the best uh, time possible while you are inside that event. So to start things off I just want to quickly go over the perks. Blocker is always useful because each of the factions have melee attackers and since you are going to be standing around a lot in certain locations you can't really avoid getting hit by them. Reflector I'm just using here because I am a heavy gunner and nothing really is better in perception. Fireproof is useful since, you know, this is going to be defending you from things like the flamethrower attacker Blood Eagles, which you don't have any resistance against other than the fireproof, because, you know, normal armor only gives you energy and uh, ballistic resistance, while flamethrowers are dealing flame damage, which isn't uh, protected by anything on you. Lone Wanderer is useful because it's going to give you a flat out damage resistance as well as some AP regeneration which will synergize well with your dodgy which will use up some of your AP to avoid some of the hits that you get or well damage rather that you get. Born Survivor and Nerd Rage are synergizing well even if you're not a bloodied build because Born Survivor or rank 1 is going to protect you with the very you know lowest or dire situations of 20% health and put you back into a fighting uh, stance. Uh, getting it on rank 2 and 3 are not really that useful because it just uh, makes it so that you heal yourself on higher health which is not really needed. At those points you can still heal yourself with manual steam pack usage. Other than that the perks are just dependent on your build itself. However when it comes to your equipment I recommend using a ultra sight weapon that isn't a Gatling laser or Gatling plasma since you cannot get back the ultra sight ammo for those. The cores are not dropping as ultra sight. Uh, but any other weapon works pretty well and uh, other than that, a vampire's effect, especially if you have a high fire rate weapon, is very very useful for keeping yourself alive, like my light machine gun right here. So with that said and being done, let's get into the daily ops and let's solo them, shall we? Alright, so here we are. Uh, by the way, the timer won't start unless you start moving yourself, so I can just stand around here and uh, this timer won't gonna stop, in case you wanna make some final adjustments. But yeah, let's go in with the light machine gun and uh, just always pay attention to the actual you know, map markers. Uh, because most of these locations, while appearing to be rather convoluted, they are still pretty straightforward. So yeah, let's go. Just avoid all the enemies, don't care about them. Um, you, you don't have to fight them actually. You just have to run past them and, and they're not gonna follow you to the end of the world, thankfully. So yeah, just run, 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 run. And the only time you have to fight enemies, for sure, that's when the boss appears. But until then, you can just ignore them. Now we got the explosive things, but since I have the fireproof perk, I am not gonna be targeted or uh, rather put in danger by these blokes all that much. Still getting rid of, of course, the melee attackers is always the best course of action. As you can see, I, uh, regeneration is much better than these guys' damage output. Even if they explode in my face, I'm still gonna survive. There we go. No issues there whatsoever. And I'm still in the range of my uh, booster, as you can see. And I'm gonna be doing this without many issues, I feel like. There you go. Yeah, I can't see much, sadly. In these cases, by the way, if you don't, uh, if they don't come to you, then just go to a location where they can't hit you, and they start moving towards you. Um, you know, that's uh, just a good tactics to lure them out. See, they're already here. There we go, had no issues with the first part, now just run towards the second part and ignore all the enemies. Time is of the essence since you are only boosting it alone, so you have to pretty much just uh, run as soon as you can to the next location. Once you are there, just again immediately boost the signal and then do the same thing as I did uh, last time. It usually helps if you with yourself to a location when you can only be hit from at most two, di two directions, because then the enemies will have to come to you. For example, this is a good spot because you can only be hit from that direction and this direction. This spot is also good if you go behind here, uh, because then you can only be hit from there and there. 
Um, but hitting, you know, standing in like, for example, here, that's you already vulnerable from three locations which you don't want to have on you. That was the flamethrower guy as, as that I was talking about. He is actually dangerous. There you go, we are done with the final part and again just run straight through and ignore all the enemies that might have spawned since there because here you will actually have to find your, fight your way through a few enemies, you have to kill them and that's why time is of the essence, there you go, now they have been marked on my location or my map and just uh, go through as soon as you can again and just uh, take them out That's one That's two And oh, there's a doggo Okay, that's three. We've got one down here it looks like. Hiding on the, over the corner. Yeah. There we go, that's all the people here. And now you're gonna be facing the boss, for which I'm gonna be actually using a sort of uh, stronger weapon it looks like. Yep, you know what, no, I'm just gonna go with this weapon. Since I've got time, as you can see I have over a minute now, which is more than enough to complete the final part. Even by being sloppy, I had over half a minute left from this mission. So as you can see, uh, it's easily doable solo. This was first try. Yes, I did know the location, but other than that, it wasn't really that practiced either. This is the second daily ops only, so it's not like I'm a total expert on them already. So yeah, there it is, there you have it. Hopefully you find this informative and helpful, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye guys.